Good morning, my friends. Um, so this is one of those mornings. It is, uh, we're at January 7, 2019. It's one of those mornings in the 651 days that I've done AM Excellence. I have gotten sick several of those 651 days. Uh, this morning is one of those days. So I'm here to uh, turn on a happy face and record these and uh, hopefully go upstairs and crawl in bed, but I think not. Because I think my wife has to go to work. But we will uh, do our best as we launch into another tremendous book today, American Wife by Taya Kyle. It's a, it's an awesome read, and it's one that you're, you're going to learn a lot from. It's one that I have lot have learned a lot and will continue to learn a lot from. It's just a, a tremendous read, and I encourage you all to get the book, read the book. Get American Sniper, watch American Sniper, get American Gun, read American Gun, and uh, just support these great people in this great cause. So uh, today's an intro episode. Let's rock and roll. One, two, three, go. Good morning, my friends, and welcome to the Spaniard Show. This is the Spaniard, and the mic wasn't even on, so I got to do that intro over again. <laughs> Oh, doesn't it figure? Now we're ready to rock and roll. I didn't see the, the audio lines blipping. You're there, you're there, you're there. All right, ready? One, two, three. Good morning, my friends, and welcome to the Spaniard Show. This is the Spaniard, and this is AMX Book 651, coming to you January 7th, 2019. So we're starting a new book today, and today's an intro episode. Now, the book that I'm reading is American Wife, Love, War, Faith, and Renewal, written by Taya Kyle. So today I'm going to give you some background about Taya, the book, other books, other people whom are included in her story. This is this book is an exploration of the life and death of Chris Kyle. It's also an autobiography of Taya Kyle. So Chris Kyle, I'll talk more about, but if the first thing that might come to your head is American Sniper, uh, a tremendous book, a tremendous movie. So this book is told as by his wife, Taya. Okay, so there was American Sniper, which many of us have seen and or read, and now this is American Wife. The themes, there are several themes in this book. I've actually gone through and read the book already because it's, it's a tremendously insightful read. But some of the themes are this, purpose, your purpose, my purpose, people's purpose, mission. Okay, we talk a lot about military. I love talking about military because it... it elevates this idea of mission above self and you see it at work and you see real people interacting in real situations that the vast majority of us myself 100 percent i've never been exposed to little by little by talking to more and more veterans i am exposed to these things and it gives me a completely a whole new uh insight and perspective and and uh, uh, it makes me interact differently with people both military people and non-military people it it actually makes me better so we have purpose we have mission we talked a lot about loss and coping Taya is very very honest and transparent in this book so we're going to hear a lot about loss and coping about perseverance right she calls it being stuck in the mud and just keeping going military marriages this is something that fascinates me there's a stat and i'll probably report it i'll probably talk about it later on in the book but there's a stat that at this time 95 percent of seal marriages ended in divorce 95 percent I'm, I'm nearly 100 percent certain that is the correct stat a lot of them, right? Uh, redirecting and transition. So it, this was really neat because I know several points in my life I've had to redirect and transition my energy from one thing to another thing to another thing. Here you get to see it in, in action by way of the military. One of the biggest things for, for military people is coming out of the military and transitioning into civilian life. It's a big deal. Psychologically, logistically, it's really a big deal. So we talk about that as well. Parenthood, that part makes me smile. <laughs> Parenthood. Veterans in general and more. So a little bit about Chris Kyle. He's a military hero. He's the author of American Sniper and American Gun. So this is another book that I didn't know he had written, but he had passed away and they finished it. Uh, but it's called American Gun. Also the movie American Sniper with Bradley Cooper, whom I learned is a big advocate for veterans. I didn't know that as well. So, you know, fist bump, <laughs> fist bump Bradley Cooper. But Chris Kyle was a Navy, a Navy SEAL. He, was, he had the most confirmed kills as a sniper from 1999 to 2009. He's the focus of the movie American Sniper in 2014, as I mentioned, with Bradley Cooper. And post-military, while he was doing work with veterans, this guy, he, he, just, he was a really solid, uh, down-home type of person. Just a really good person. 
And while he was doing work to help veterans, he was actually murdered alongside his friend Chad Littlefield on February 2nd of 2013 by a veteran that they were helping. So that was that that is the the basis of the movie and the book American Sniper of the movie American Sniper. So this book is Taya's story. Okay, so all of that stuff that happened, this is Taya's story as well as her celebration of the man she loved. And this is a really it, like I said the, the amount of insight that you get from this book or I mean I I cried, not a surprise because I cry often. Uh, but I cried several times. I smiled several times. My jaw dropped several times. It, it's one of those books that it evokes, I laughed several times. It evokes emotions. And one of the best things you can do as a speaker or as an author or as a human is have the ability to connect with other people. When Taya speaks, it, it's funny. The way she writes reminds me of how I write. It's like you're having a conversation with her. In the little jokes and nuances, it's as if you're talking to her face to face, but you're actually reading her book. So she's gone on to a speaking career and in in, in to become a political commentary. Uh, she wrote a book and became an activist for military veterans' families. And about that, she said, quote, There are no foundations that encourage veterans and first responders' marriages. So she eventually went on, and this plays out in the book. You know, you can read for yourself and see everything that went into it and how she landed on this, but eventually she created the Chris Kyle Frog Foundation and their mission is to, quote, serve those who serve us by providing meaningful interactive experiences that enrich family relationships. I'll go on to talk a little bit about the Patriot Tour. So this is something that was brought to my attention, I believe a couple months ago, last September, when I was in Philadelphia doing a, a watching, taking part in a Team Red, White, and Blue, which is another veteran service organization. Uh, I learned about the Patriot Tour. I didn't know what the Patriot Tour was, but this is something that if you Google, I mean, if you Google Patriot Tour, if you Google Ted Kyle, if you Google Team Never Quit, you'll find the Patriot Tour. But it's essentially a speaking tour with Marcus Luttrell, Chad Fleming, who's a retired Army Ranger, David Goggins. Goggins has recently come out with a book. I'll be talking about that here on the show within a couple months. So the Patriot Tour, quote, brings together the best things in life, family, service, sacrifice, and community. Heartfelt, speak, heartfelt speakers, each sharing their stories of perseverance and each embodying the fight for freedom and the fight for team and the fight for a rich and vibrant life, born of the desire to serve and to bring hope and change. So if you go to teamneverquit.com, you can find more information about the Patriot Tour. But Taya is one of the speakers on the Patriot Tour, alongside Mark Luttrell, alongside Chad Fleming, alongside David Goggins. And people that I've interacted have gone to Patriot Tour events. Someone had messaged me not too long ago and told me they went to one. This is like a, a, a bucket list thing I would love to, to do, to see, to hear them speak live. Uh, but anyway, this book, American Wife, it's it's a tremendous read. I can't say enough about it. It's a total exploration. Uh, when talking about the Patriot Tour, they say that bringing the best things in life, right? Fight for a team, fight for freedom, fight for rich and vibrant life. It, it bring hope and change. That's what this book and the Patriot Tour and these, uh, everything they're doing, whether it's Patriot Tour, whether it's American uh, Sniper, whether it's American Wife, Marks Luttrell, all of these things, they have a podcast called Team Never Quit, who Marks Luttrell is a host. All these things give, it's like a, a she talks a lot about just having to move forward, right? Just just getting through it, having to moving forward day after day, it never getting easy, but maybe the pain subsiding a little bit, but just staying busy, focusing, moving forward. And really that's the whole idea of, of never quit, you know, team never quit. So this book is an exploration of all of those things and more. Sincerely hope you turn, tune in tomorrow for Amex Book 652. If you want to check out this book, every other book I read, they're on my website as well as everything else I do, charliespaniard.com. This video will be uploaded to YouTube, youtube.com slash Charlie Spaniard, and or you can check it out, facebook.com slash Charlie Spaniard for the live streams. And that's it, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow. That's it, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.